one polemical context for Van Til's formulations. And uh, it's stunning uh, what Gordon Clark says, and I'll compress it here, but for Gordon Clark, he, he argues that the thing that his principle of individuation within the Trinity is that there are three distinct thought bundles or bundles of thought. The father says, I, or my bundles of thought am the father. The son says, I, or my bundles of thought are the, am the son. I, the Holy Spirit says, my bundles of thought am the spirit. And there is no additional bundle of thought. So there are only three thought bundles and three persons. And so Clark wants to root personality in the thought bundles, because to think presupposes personhood. But ironically and stunningly, when Clark tries to relate those three thought bundles to the essence of God, or the substance of God, or the unity of God, he has to construe that substance as thoughtless or mute. And so rather than understanding the three persons as subsisting as the one personal, absolute, willing, uh, living and true God, because of his commitment to a form of theological rationalism, he introduces a personalist, impersonalist dialectic into the core of his Trinitarian theology so that the persons are conscious thought bundles. The essence is mute substance. Entirely so, impersonal. Right? Utterly impersonal because of co unique commitments he has to a philosophical form of rationalism. And if people can go back and reread now, the Clark Van Til controversy in light of this, you can start to recognize that really all Van Til was doing in that controversy was restating and defending the Orthodox Trinitarianism from old Princeton and old Amsterdam and applying it against a very, uh, I'll just put it this way, an extremely novel and very speculative rationalistic distortion of Trinitarian orthodoxy. And so that's one uh, aspect of the class that we try to spend some time on after we give Van Til his constructive uh, voice mm -hmm. and get you into the sources. This provides a wonderful way of, of showing why Van Til said what he said, because he was opposing forms of rationalism, including but not limited to Gordon Clark.